Hello, my name is Charles Davis and I want to welcome you to the Ultimate Brand Design Channel. This video is going to be about, be about P. Diddy and will this have an effect on Hollywood and how it will change everything. The recent arrest and information coming out of P. Diddy is having a effect that's going to resonate through America. It is exposing some things that have always existed in the entertainment industry. I'm old enough to remember that when Hollywood had the producers count, female and male actors and actresses always talked about there was always a producer's couch available if you wanted it. It was really well known and as time went on, it showed that it was true, that the LGBTQ community had a place in Hollywood, and they still do. But now, the damage that's being exposed is becoming far-reaching even outside of Hollywood because people are going to be aware of the far-reaching effects that it has on their children. One of the things I noticed because I'm a digital marketer and brand strategist, I look at the trends and what's happening on YouTube. On YouTube, that has become the court of public opinion. And so these reaction videos talking about P. Diddy and Jaguar Wright, and then they're coming out of the woodwork, is flooding YouTube in all kinds of ways. Here's a little history lesson. In the beginning of cable, like the cable company Comcast, Comcast came out with a channel and a service. You had to pay for it. And the selling point was that TV without commercials. And it became very expensive. And then they reached a point where they had to produce commercials even on paid subscriptions. Does this sound familiar? Sounds just like YouTube to me. Because YouTube now is public television. And they're actually monetizing channels based on viewer engagement. This is going to be a real money-making opportunity because what you have is you have the ability to create a show and if the public shows interest, you could actually have your own sitcom or any other type of TV program that was normally restricted to TV stations. And what's going to happen is, is there going to be a fallout because people who want to present a positive image because the FCC does have rules for content and you may see a lot more censorship. Like you can't show just anything on TV. That's just not possible. It has to follow certain standards. And I do expect to see that happening. But even further, the effect of AI that's going to have on this. Realize we're watching the death of Hollywood and all these production companies because it's getting to the point where you're going to be able to produce a movie with fully AI generated content and act. It's moving that fast that you're not going to need actors and actresses anymore. You're just going to need to have a creative story in a creative environment and then go through the effort to create the movie. Because they've been doing this for years already. If you look at movies like Iron Man and the comic, comic industry and those movies, they were using animation and 
they were able to produce blockbuster movies. That's how they do that. And so now that's coming to the public. And this is going to be the ability for you to make your own movie and sell it online. And you could get into the movie theaters. We're probably going to see the death of the movie theaters too. Because there's not going to be no reason for you to go to a movie theater unless you just want a night out. Because everybody has a movie theater in their pocket. Do you realize there are more smartphones than there are people on the planet? I guess there's some in the, in the graveyard with them dead folks in case they wake up. But that's what's happening in Hollywood. P. Diddy has, and this whole incident, has exposed some real damaging societal issues because of the DEI, the LGBTQ, those movements have reached a saturation point. And when you look at the long-term effect, this is something we were talking about, how the LGBTQ in the 70s and those that were in favor of decriminalizing marijuana, they started a campaign to turn around the image of those two taboos. The gay community said, well, we need to start a, a campaign so that we can change our image and be more accessible, acceptable in public. They have done that, but it may have gone too far when it comes to the transgenders and then trying to have it come into our school systems. In foreign countries, they don't allow that. They don't allow that teaching to come into the school system. They leave it in the hands of society and the parents. When it comes to the National Organization for Reform of Marijuana Laws, we now see that that has happened, that there was a time when you would be thrown in jail for marijuana and it would destroy your life. And now... It's legalized because it could be, they found a way to make money off of it. And so just as before, this is going to be a big problem to the government because now how do you justify, you know, well, if you have legalized it now, what about all the people whose lives you messed up? And that's something that's going to have to be addressed. My name is Charles, the ultimate brand design channel if you're interested in developing your personal brand you can check down in the description and pinned in the top comment i have a free course that you can take online and get the personal branding aspect because that's the one thing no one ever covers my name is charles davis click like and click share